Hello everybody, I'm Duke James, this is Portugal. Alright, so I was looking around at the, this, the estates, because I wanted to see about potential reforms and privileges that I could do. And I thought my game was broken. So I went to Alpha 23 Patch 3, and it seemed pretty good, but then got to these reforms when I started to actually try to look at these reforms. I thought, okay, you, you press this button, you press the reform, it tells you about it right here, extended levies, effects, that blurb at the bottom, you hit it, and then it goes, review the impact of reform and the potential reaction to change, okay, nothing, and then this, the number system goes away, and it's like, okay, where'd it go? It's broken. It comes back at the end of the month the end of the monthly tick. Alright, so did I do anything there? No. It comes back to nothing happened. Didn't show me anything. No tooltip popped up. So what you have to do is you would think, okay, there's these buttons here, so I press these buttons, but then you go over them and nothing happens. You press it, nothing happens, this pops up. What you have to do is there's a tiny little area in the top right that will actually tell you what, uh, what passing that reform does. So there's this tiny little speck that you have to hover over in order to see things. And this is what you would actually do to increase or decrease that. So this would be increasing it. Which would make the nobles angry, or decreasing it. Which would make the nobles happy. We can't do anything right now, because apparently we are still recovering from recent reforms. Although I don't think I passed any reforms, so... That's kind of weird. But that is what you're supposed to do. So I thought my game was broken because this doesn't do anything. But there's that tiny little speck that it doesn't tell you where it is, and you just gotta find it. So I imagine in the future, presumably that would be uh, worked out, because that is not intuitive at all, and it took me a very long time to figure that out. Doesn't help that Discord kind of sucks. Now I'm going to... Let's see, I want to get commercialization a little bit quicker. Because that would be nice. I am inventing it. It's just the institution invention, and my capital is plus 0 0.01. I believe that's because my trade value is pretty low. Trade value, the calculation, it goes... Uh, trade value, the profits is trade value minus 5 divided by 5. So that's going to be 2 divided by 5, which makes that really low. And then the other thing is burger power is another multiplier attached to that as well. So I'm trying to increase trade power with more... People. So what I can do now is go ahead and support burger autonomy. So that will increase the power of the burgers. They're at 31% now. It's 45% in Lisbon. It needs to be higher than 40 in order to get commercialization. But there is a multiplier, burger power minus 0 0.04 divided by 0.6. So the higher the burger power, the bigger the multiplier. I'm going to go ahead and do that. That gets the burgers actually to 86%, so I'm going to go ahead and leverage them for promoting anti-competitive practices. That gives merchant trade power plus 10. I have four merchants, so that should be a decent amount of extra ducats. Presumably. There's a 5,000 rebel stack that's going to rise up down here. I built a fort here. So they'll come up against that. I think for my next idea group, I'll probably actually do Scholastic. I was thinking trade, either trade or evangelical, but since I want dip tech, I don't want to do a dip idea group. So Scholastic would actually, if I can complete it, 
would give negative 7.5% tech cost reduction. Plus a little bit of knowledge output, idea cost reduction, tolerance of heathens, institution embracement cost, an extra advisor, a little bit of prestige decay, and then uh, institution spread in true faith provinces. So this will also help me get commercialization a little bit faster as well. I think that's the way to do that. I think I want to take stuff from the church again. They're just such an easy target to, to take things from. They own 55% of the academic property in the country now. We own 33%, so we could grab... What is that, 27 ish percent from the clergy. Let's see. Expropriate land. 50% of the academic property is 30 units. What's their relations at, actually? They're at negative two. Everybody else is actually positive, which is nice. I see this number 30 and I'm like, that's really low. I don't know if it's worthwhile to uh, lose 15 clergy loyalty, a spirituality point, 20 relations, 25% progress towards stability. I think I'll actually just hold off on that for now. All right, trade seems to have um, that doesn't seem correct. Is that actually... That's what 10 merchant trade power gets me, like two ducats. Trade of Gibraltar was at 0.7. These other three were at like 0 0.2. 0 0.2 to 0 0.4 each. So that gets me two ducats from that one thing. The merchant trade power in those nodes must really be low, then. Wow, okay. Yeah, so... Can I put a merchant in another node, then? This node doesn't really have much. I was thinking instead of... Probably don't want to take that uh, merchant out of Strait of, Strait of Gibraltar, because I was collecting 0 0.72 here, so I was thinking about taking that out of here, but then I would lose access to this market, so... Probably not worthwhile. Especially when there's not really all that many nodes that I could go to, because I don't know about the Sahara node. I can't send a merchant there. Barbary Coast only has a ducat half in there. I don't think I can actually... I could... I can't trade with this. I could put a merchant there and try to collect ducats, but I think right now trading with this area would actually be more worthwhile, especially since I own six provinces in that node. I imagine that's mostly an early game thing because there's not a whole lot of trade power in these nodes, especially like France. This is split between so many countries which eventually this will consolidate into one country, France, who will dominate that node. Same with the uh, channel, though. There's a lot of countries up there. So that will probably decrease very quickly. But for now, that's an extra two ducats, which pretty much doubles my income right now. Oh, that's nice. Build an additional... Trade ships. So I'll have four trade ships. Probably send those guys to like the West Mediterranean. Just slowly get rid of these galleys, and then I'll probably just try to fight not in Inland Sea. Because I imagine most of the AI are going to have a lot of galleys, so I'll just keep my fighting over here to uh, make up for that double fighting effectiveness that these countries get. Looks like uh, Fez is being 
ganged up on by Tlemcen. I think when my truce with Fez ends in two years, there's not going to be much of them left. I already lost those couple provinces to Tunis. Looks like Tlemcen's going to grab some as well. Granada might actually grab some. That's occupied by Granada. I bet, don't think I've ever seen Granada actually expand from where they are. Unless they're helped by the player or somebody else. Grab the next mill tech. That tech seven? I believe that gives access to cannons. Maybe not. I thought that gave access to cannons. That is Miltech 8, okay. Pretty sure in my Vietnam campaign we started at Tech 7. Miltech 7 and we had access to cannons from the start of the game, but I guess over here... Western Tech is Miltech 8 for cannons. Still don't have cores on these two provinces. Some automatic investment. Okay, yeah, so 1367... There is automatic investment. I believe it was probably like uh, 30 ducats. A little bit of forestry investment, extraction investment, and academic investment into Beria Boxa. Pretty sure I murdered that. Where is that province? This province. They put some money into the forests? No farmlands. A little bit into the mines. Is there a lot of unemployment in this province? Decent amount of unemployment. Imagine that's just metal. Yeah, it's just metal. I'll actually put 10 ducats into there, because it's uh, one of the few metal provinces that we own. A little bit of a forestry and academic investment to Bira Alta. Forestries and academic into Dorio Littoral. Same thing in that province. Some extraction investment in this province. A little bit of fishery investment. Tiny little bit of academic investment. This is actually a lot more investment than I would have thought. So a lot of these are small numbers, like 0 0.075 ducats in the forestry maintenance. Did, does that even register as one unit? It probably improves the uh, forestry by 0.5. I mean, it's something. I'm not complaining, but that's a really that's less than less than one tenth of a ducat. One ducat in agricultural investment, fishery investments, three and a half ducats, that's about it. Yeah, commercial property is doing really poorly right now, so this is... I am not taking commerce property, that is why. Academic property seems to be doing pretty good. Yeah, commerce, property, negative income, still happening, but as long as I don't own that property, it doesn't really matter to me. That is something for the burgers to worry about. They can have that negative income. Take it. Higher education is 20 ducats here. I'm gonna put another uh, 10 ducats into higher education. I assume that is because we have a higher education deficit, so it's in high demand. Let me just check that really quickly. Still a food deficit. That's I think that's closing a little bit. Salt, still good. Fiber, good. Fuel, bad. Raw materials, good. Consumer, bad. Military, good. Naval, good. Industrial, bad. 
knowledge. Yeah, we have a little bit of a knowledge deficit, so I'm going to continue building that in Lisbon. I'm trying to build that amenities here. It's at three. Then I'll start uh, putting some money into this city down here. Trying to build that up. So that'll help out with some of the more urban goods. There are 11,000 Tlemcen troops chasing 6,000 Fezzian troops. Looks like this uh, country got released, Al Jazeera. So Tlemcen is only going to be able to take the interior. I'm just going to start a uh, spy network on them. I have no claims on anybody. There's no free claims for missions anymore. There's one free claim from Tangier. They're like... Tangier will get you into Africa after that. It's all up to you. Looks like they won. And I'm not rivaling Castile. They're probably going to rival me. Ouch. Like Brittany. I did improve relations with them. Alright, 178. Do not rival me, please. That's why I'm allied with France. France seems to have occupied all of Aquitaine. And Castile and France are ganging up on Aragon. So many countries I could rent out Contatieri to. If I could. That's so much, I just feel like that's so much missed money. Oh, these wars are perfect wars. I got that uh, Switzerland campaign in me, still. Hey, they ended. Okay, looks like they took a couple provinces. Still not uh, the event where England gives up all of Aquitaine. That has not happened. I do have a uh, CB on Cephalots. But they're allied with uh, Tunis and Al Jazeera. I'm gonna want to ally these guys, but I can't royally marry them, so that makes it a little bit hard there. Muslim. Neutral attitude. Having two diplomats kind of sucks. Tlemcen took everything. I think these two provinces were occupied by Granada, so they couldn't take those, and they didn't want to give them to Granada, but they took everything else. Oh yeah, they have massive... What? Why would they do this? Negative 86... Oh man, they just got... Um, huge... They should have a coalition here. Hyphalots, Seuss, and... Uh, Bez could join Al Jazeera. They should join that. We can't join that because they were Muslims. Conquering Muslim territory, so we don't really care that much. The Iberian powers. But Tlemcen has about 13,000 troops, so... Yeah, they have almost double... No, they have double my troops. So... And they're also allied with uh, Jared and Granada. I imagine Granada would have access through Castile, so I'm probably not a great target to attack. Only 7,000 troops, unless I uh, called in Castile. I wonder how that would work since they're at war with Granada, since they have Granada under them. Would that make them break? Or would Granada just not? Enter? Interesting. Well, I think this is a, a good point to uh, stop this episode, so I'm going to end this part here and pick up in the next episode. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.